Now, he's the 14-year-old who can sing in eight different languages and play 16 instruments. Jake Murdoch has even collaborated with NXS legend Andrew Farris over the years. It's our absolute pleasure to have Jake back in the studio. Great to see you again, mate. Yeah, thanks for having me back. Oh, you're getting older. Fair play to you. Yeah, come here. Tell us, when were you... Um, so you played so many instruments. What was the first instrument um, that you learned how to play? And then why learn so many? Well, I just love learning, constantly learning. Um, and instruments was the easiest one for me. Uh, the first instrument that I learned were the drums when I was five years old. And then when I was seven, I learned how to sing, play the guitar and play the piano. And since then, yeah, I've just kept learning more and more instruments. That's great. What was the hardest instrument to learn how to play? Um, it's hard to be honest. It's, it's so hard with all um, the frets and everything. Oh, no, no doubt. Yeah, I tell you what, it's also hard. Being able to sing in eight different languages. Can you speak eight different languages as well? Not yet, no. I right can on. only speak, obviously, English, Japanese and Mandarin. So, so, what, so why learn how to, how, to, how to sing in eight different languages? Basically to just appeal to everyone, like everyone that doesn't speak English, my music and like people will be able to understand what I'm saying. If, if like someone's from Japan, like if they want to follow, like, um, follow my music, follow my tits, or they just listen to a song in their own language. Yeah. I think it's unbelievable. And this year you've done your first tour of Japan as well. You launched a song there in English and in Japanese. Was this your first world tour? My first tour, yeah, ever. <laughs> and it's my first time traveling to a different country as well. Right. So it's really, it was really interesting. Yeah. And how, how did you find it? It was, it was amazing. I love Japanese people and the musicians there. Um, now, obviously, yourself and Andrew, as we mentioned, you're good mates. Um, and in just a moment, you're going to sing a song that you co-wrote together. How did that collaboration happen? Well, actually, a few months after I was on the show before, Andrew Ferris and his wife Marlena invited me to stay at their house for three days. And that's when Andrew and I wrote the song together. It's called Popo Nitsu as well. It's based off of a Mexican legend about two volcanoes that looked like a man and a woman. And whoever discovered these volcanoes decided to call them Popo Nitsu. It's Great. similar to Romeo and Juliet too. That's awesome. And this one's going to be in English, right? Yes. yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> just check it, just check it. You can check out Jake's music at jakemurdoch.com. Uh, he's going to sing that song, Popo and Itza. So, Jake, take it away.
Yeah. How yeah. many instruments? 16. Get out. Eight Thanks. languages he sings in. Yeah. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Oh, no, you're, you're doing well. Yeah. And you're oh, a citizen. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Aussie, so too Aussie, bad Aussie. if you can't. You know? Oi, oi, oi. That's, that's right, Ange. That's all we have time for you today. Please join us again tomorrow at 10.